So my name is Sam Bogle, uh, Circle D Cattle. Um, I've been raising Highlands for I think four years now. I'm from Walnut Grove, Minnesota. So we had a family that raised Highlands nearby us and I helped them with fitting and clipping and stuff and I just fell in love with the uh, demeanor of the animals and just how kind of goofy and quirky they are and just the amount of hair you have to work with with it. So in my breeding program, I'm really working towards raising some bulls and heifers. I'm only gonna be showing maybe one or two at a time myself, but I do a lot of ET work, IVF work, and I mean, getting my bulls collected so other people can use the semen, selling it at a reasonable price so everyone can use it. Um, yeah, just kind of using some progressive stuff and trying to make some really interesting breeding animals. What's been memorable about the Highlands probably has been just the a way that everybody that raises them, it's such a big family and we're all so intertwined and close knit and just talking about genetics, talking about what you're doing with your breeding program and how everybody's just kind of going through stuff. <laughs> I would say shop around a lot. Don't buy the first thing you find. Um, Genetics aren't always a reason to buy something. I'd say look at their feet, make sure they can walk really good first. That should be a really high point. Um, and then you can kind of look at the genetic portion of stuff. Um, some things that I would probably do differently is some of the fitting and clipping that I've done. You really try a lot of different things. I mean, I shaved a Dawson off one time. Never gonna do that again. Um, it's just lots of trial and error on a lot of different things that you do. Um, just walking around the barns this year in Denver and at shows that we've been going to, just the quality of the cattle that you've been seeing and how much effort and competition there is now, it really makes it a lot of fun to be here. Um, one that probably a lot of people touch on a lot is like, just because it was born a bull doesn't mean it needs to stay a bull. Um, genetics aren't always a reason to use something. like. It doesn't have to be out of something from Scotland to be a good bull. Just always, you can always ask anybody a question, get lots of different answers from lots of different people and just kind of piece together what will work best for you or what will help you with what you're planning on doing with your own fold. Yeah.